I'm Courtney, and this is my direct practice that I worked on all semester. I am a junior social work major. My client is Stephanie. She's single, Caucasian, female, and she's 23 years old. Her presenting problem is anxiety. She's struggling balancing work, school, her assignments, and she just found out she was pregnant. So in my intake session, I used an intake form and also a consent form. The intake form allowed me to get more information, information such as demographic, her health care, what her presenting problem was, and her religious beliefs. The skills I used were open-ended questions. I asked what she meant by flipping to get a better understanding of what her mother and her relationship was like. I paraphrased the client's relationship with her sister, and I used clarification to help understand the discontented relationship with her mother. And these all helped in developing a report. And that was just me clarifying. So my assessment, I used the multidimensional assessment. It helped me get a better understanding of her family structure, her emotional and physical functioning, and her strengths and barriers. Her strengths, I found she enjoyed writing, music, running, but a barrier that I found was her anxiety was affecting her everyday functioning. Skills I used in this were open-ended questions to find her strengths and barriers. I used information, information giving because she hadn't had an exam since 2013, so I stressed the importance about getting exams to make sure the baby is okay. And at the end, I summarized the session to allow, I summarized the session to sum up the session and end that. So that was just me summarizing the end of the session. My treatment, I used an individualized treatment plan. I found some evidence-based practice. I had two articles where I found relaxation breathing was effective, and I found it's especially important to self-care during pregnancy. In another article, I found reframing negative statements into a more positive statement, helped developing goals and the client following through with that, and also reframing feelings into I statements allowed the client to combine their feelings with statements and how they felt, and it helped her assertively communicate because that was one thing she struggled with. I used summarization to summarize the previous session and get started. I used informa information giving again to show the importance of checkups and clarification to make sure what I was understanding was correct. In my evaluation session, I used an evaluation form that went from negative two to positive two. And we also discussed the feelings about the last session. And I referred her for future reference if any problem arises. I used, again, open-ended questions to determine how the previous goals went. I interpreted because she said she was explaining that a goal went better than expected and I wanted to make sure that that was right. 
and I summarize the 12 weeks and how much the client has accomplished within those 12 weeks. Five things I did well. I had a calming tone of voice. I think I built rapport well, utilizing evidence-based practice and incorporating SMART goals into my sessions. Um, I think I did a good job gathering information while still connecting with the client. But one thing I would do differently is utilizing silence because I get nervous and I always just want to talk, so I would do that differently. I would present my limitations of confidentiality differently. Um, I know once I made a biased statement, I think, so I would try to avoid more of not doing that. And overwhelming the, overwhelming the client with information, I was talking really fast and just kept giving her information, so I felt like I overwhelmed her and my facial expressions, for sure. Um, are there any questions? So you mentioned like that you um, made a biased statement. Did, did you notice like a change in the client at all? Like the um, vector? No, she just kind of went with it. I don't think she really noticed it, but I myself mm -hmm. noticed it. So she just kind of answered the question that I asked, but okay. Yes. Um, kind of similar to that, when you felt that you gave a bunch of information and that it kind of overwhelmed the client, did you see her, um, her demeanor change when you were giving her so much information? Um, yeah, a little bit, and I noticed that, and I tried to, you know, backtrack a little bit. Yeah. I've got one last question for you. When it comes to the, uh, could you name one specific intervention and how evaluation of that intervention went for the client um, that you were able to work with? Um, so, like my goals, mm -hmm. we worked on assertive communication, which was a big thing because she wanted to learn how to communicate effectively. Mm -hmm. So we did some role playing and she role played with her boyfriend and used that with her mother and she said that that turned out pretty well. Great. Okay. And there are my references.